Carolina with AlwaysRespectMore.com, and today we're working on block five of the Cricut Maker Block of the Week. That block is this fun modified pinwheel block. Ready? Let's get started. This fun pinwheel block is a four patch. Each of the units is made of three pieces. It's half a half square triangle and half of a quarter square triangle. The way we're going to make this is start by making all of our halves of our quarter square triangle units and then we'll press those. Then we'll stitch it to the other half to make a square and we'll do that four times. Then we take the top two and the bottom two and stitch them together to make two rows. Then we stitch all the way across the middle to put our two rows together and then our block will be complete. So this is yet another simple block to put together. So let's go ahead and start putting our right sides together. And we'll stitch these quarter square triangle units. Again, we're chain piecing just like we have in the past. Perfect, four quarter square triangle units. We're gonna press these and you can press them towards whichever side you like. Generally, we like to press towards the dark. These are basically the same value. So I'm actually going to press out, which would be toward my light in this case. Just like with half square triangle units, there's some dog ears here at the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip those off. Now I can lay these out. Do a quick visual check, to make sure it all makes sense. And then I can stitch the half square triangle units together. With these units, I'm going to keep this seam going, so that means I'm going to press towards the light colored fabric. There we go, the quilt block's coming together. I need to stitch these two together and these two together to make my rows, and then we'll stitch the rows together. This seam right here nests with the seam behind it here. So with your fingers, feel where they nest, and you'll get a much better point in the middle where your pinwheel comes together. Nesting the seams again here. Okay. 
I have my two halves and I need to press. I'm going to press towards the larger white piece. Because I pressed towards the larger white piece here and the larger white piece there, I'll be able to nest these seams as well. There's going to be a lot of seams I can nest here on this angle, here on this angle, and then down the middle. And by getting all those seams as close to one another as possible, I'm going to have as close to a perfect center point as possible. How do we do on that center point? That's pretty darn close to perfect. So now I need to press my seams on the back. We're spiraling those seams. I've got this one going this direction, this one going this direction. So I'm going to go clockwise on all my seams. I'm trying not to disturb the seams around it. And coming here in the middle. You'll see this pops open just a little. There we go. Block five of the Cricut Maker Block of the Week, the sequel, is complete. Come back next week and I'll show you how to make block six. And that's how easy it is to make the modified pinwheel block. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Make sure you've given this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of crafty updates coming and you don't want to miss a single block of this Cricut Maker Block of the Week, the sequel. See you next week with another fun quilt block.